Welcome to CSC Guru. In this session, we will discuss AVL tree deletion. AVL tree deletion is similar to AVL tree insertion only. Already we have discussed how to insert a new node into an AVL tree and if you are inserting a new node, that will affect the balance factor of the AVL tree. So, if the balance factor is 0, plus 1 or minus 1 in the sense, the tree is balanced. Otherwise, the tree is unbalanced. So, to convert the unbalanced AVL tree into a balanced one, we have to apply a rotation, either a single rotation or double rotation. Everything we have discussed and few example with AVL tree insertion also we have discussed. Okay. So, here insertion of a new node into an AVL tree will affect the balance factor. Okay, this balance factor we can able to correct it by implementing either a single rotation or a double rotation. Single rotation, there are two types, left rotation and right rotation. Double rotation also, there are two types, left, right rotation and right, left rotation. That is, first we have to implement a left rotation followed by right rotation. Then oral rotation is nothing but first we have to implement a right rotation followed by left rotation. Okay. So, insertion of a new node into an AVL tree can be corrected by either a single rotation or double rotation. But, compared to insertion, deletion of a node in an AVL tree may imbalance multiple nodes in an AVL tree. So, here to correct the balance factor or to convert the unbalanced binary search tree into a balanced one, here we need to implement multiple rotations. Okay. Single rotation or double rotation, it is not enough because here during deletion, multiple nodes will get affected. So, we need multiple rotations to correct it. Okay. So, compared to AVL tree insertion, AVL tree deletion is more complicated. So, there are three cases in AVL tree deletion. First one, deleting a leaf node. Second one, deleting a node with one child. Deleting a node with two child. So, here if you are considering this is an AVL tree. Deleting a leaf node. So, suppose if you are deleting a node 20, 45 or 75 in the sense, that was nothing but deleting a leaf node. So, if you are deleting a leaf node, if the balance factor gets affected, we have to implement a rotation to correct it. Similarly, deleting a node with one child. Suppose here, if I am deleting 62, the node 62 is having one right child. Okay. So, deleting a node with one child also affect the balance factor. So, here, it may affect multiple nodes, balance factor of multiple nodes, okay. That also we have to correct it by implementing a rotation only. Sometimes multiple rotations is required, okay. Similarly, deleting a node with two child in the sense, for example, if you are deleting a node 40 in the sense, here 40 is having two child. Here also balance factor will get affected, that is multiple nodes will get affected. So, here also we need multiple rotations. So, simple cases deleting a leaf node. Okay. So, first we will discuss the first case that is deleting a leaf node. So, for example, consider this AVL tree. So, AVL tree is nothing but it is a balanced binary search tree. So, balanced in the sense here balance factor also should be satisfied and binary search tree property also should be satisfied. Okay. So, here for example, consider this is the AVL tree and here if you are considering the balance factor, this is 0 and this one is minus 1, 0, all leaf node it is 0, here also it is 0, here it is 1 minus 2, it is minus 1 and here 2 minus 3, minus 1. So, it is balanced only, okay. So, AVL tree in the sense, we have to check the balance factor. If the balance factor is 0 plus 1 or minus 1, the tree is balanced. Otherwise, the tree is unbalanced. So, this is a AVL tree. Consider this example. Now, we are going to delete a leaf node. Okay. So, suppose if I want to delete the node 48 in the sense, what is the tree I will get at? Here, I am deleting node 48. Okay. So, this is the tree I will get at 45. And the right subtree as it is, I will get it. 56, 52, and then here it is 60, 57, and then it is 65. Now we will check the balance factor. So, balance factor for all the leaf nodes, it is 0. Okay. 
and here this node it is 0 and here this node if you are considering 1 minus 2 minus 1 and for root node if you are considering the left subtree node is number of left subtree node is 1 right subtree is 3 so 1 minus 3 it is minus 2 so here the tree is unbalanced so for node 15 the tree is unbalanced so how we will convert it see here we will implement a single left rotation so if you are implementing a single left rotation in the sense here 56 will be the root node okay so 56 will be the root node now we are pointing to the root node 50 we are implementing a single left rotation so if you are rotating like this in the sense 56 will be the root node 50 and 45 will be the left subtree of 56 50 and 45 will be the left subtree okay and the right subtree if you are considering it as 60 65 so 60 will be there and then 65 will be there and the left subtree of 60 is 57 so this will be there as it is what happens to this node 52 in the sense when you are implementing a single left rotation the left subtree of 56 that is 52 will be attached as a right subtree of 50 okay so now right subtree of 50 is 50 so if you are implementing a single left rotation we will get the tree like this and here all the tree all the node is balanced and here all the node is balanced okay in the next step consider this avl tree and here we are going to delete a leaf node 52. If I want to delete a leaf node 52 in the sense what will happen? So delete 52 and then check the balance factor for every node. So if you are deleting 52 in the sense, here 50 and 40 will be as it is and the right subtree will be as it is. And then if you are checking the balance factor for this tree in the sense this is 0 plus 1, here it is 0, 0, 0 and here also it is 0. Now it is balanced only okay so if you are deleting this 52 in the sense leaf node 52 if you are deleting the balance factor will be same only okay next consider one more node suppose if i am deleting a node 40 okay so after deleting 40 this will be the avl tree check the balance factor here it is 0 0 here also it is 0 here 1 minus 2 it is minus 1 now it is balanced only okay now, if I am deleting the node 50 in the sense, after deleting 50, so I will get the tree like this, okay. So, left subtree will be nil and right subtree it is 60, 57 and then 65. So, now if you are checking the balance factor, here everything will be 0 and for the root node 56, the balance factor is 0 minus 2, here you will get unbalanced. To convert this unbalanced avl tree into a balanced one in the sense we have to implement a single left rotation suppose if you are implementing a single left rotation now 60 so here pointing to the root node if you are implementing a single left rotation 60 will become the root node okay and 56 will become its left subtree and right subtree if you are considering that is 65 will be the right subtree and the left subtree of 60 that is 57 will be attached as a right subtree of 56. So now we will get the tree like. Now if you are checking the balance factor, here it is 0, 0, here it is minus 1, here 2 minus 1, it is plus 1. Okay. So now the tree is balanced. Then if you are deleting 57 also, it is balanced only. If you are deleting 56 also, it is balanced only. 65 also, it is balanced only. Now afterwards, whatever the leaf node if you are deleting, the tree will be balanced only. Okay. So, whenever we are implementing a leaf node deletion, check the balance factor. After deleting, check the balance factor. If it is unbalanced, we have to implement a rotation, the required rotation, whether it is a left rotation or right rotation or sometimes it may require a double left right rotation or double right left rotation. The required rotation you have to implement to convert the unbalanced binary search tree into a balanced one. That is nothing but the AVL tree. So, similar to insertion, whenever you are inserting a new node into an AVL tree, that will affect the balance factor. Check the balance factor for every node after new node insertion. 
you put gets unbalanced in the sense so you have to implement a rotation similarly in deletion case also after deleting the particular node if it is unbalanced implement a required rotation the simplest case is deleting a leaf so this is similar to insertion only the complicated thing is deleting a node with one child and deleting a node with two child okay this is an example for deletion of a leaf in the next session also we will discuss few more examples to implement deletion of a leaf node thank you for watching this video